One reading strategy that you can use with Kurzweil 3000 is called SQ4R. SQ4R is quite an old strategy and what I'm displaying on the screen is a sample of uh, a handout that, we can, that you can use. The S stands for scan or survey, Q is for question, then we have four R's, read, record, recite, and review. Although there are many reading strategies out there, this is just one that you can use. So, I'm going to go through the strategy and then show you how I could use that with Kurzweil 3000. The first thing that we could look at is the table of contents or the table of contents for the chapter. Read the headings, look at all the diagrams and pictures. What that does is it gets your mind in gear ready to read the information. It allows your brain to access information that it already might know about the subject. The next thing we do is, as we're reading, we make up questions about what you think you're going to be reading. And we're going to use the sticky notes and footnote features in Kurzweil in order to create those questions. Once we're done that, we're going to extract those notes um, and then we'll have a practice test. Now, of course, if we read and we find that the question is not the right question, we can always change the question and then extract the file and have a, a new practice test. So there's no problem there. Once we read, we're going to read by sentence or paragraph. We look for the answers to the questions that we've created using step two. After that, when we find the answers, we're going to highlight the answers. We're going to use two colors, one color for the main idea and the second color for the supporting information or in case of definitions, it's going to be the definition. Then what you would do after that is you can use the questions that you've extracted from step two and then you can check your answers, say them out loud, you can even use voice notes in Kurzweil and record your answers. To review, you look over the questions and answers. You can extract the highlights and read them with Kurzweil. You can extract your notes again and have your questions. Once you've done all this, you have a practice test from your extracted notes. You can practice your answers by writing them or typing them. Now if you are going to be typing your your tests, then you probably want to want to practice by typing them. If you're going to be handwriting the answers for your test, then you want to practice that way. The other thing you can do is practice your answers by saying them out loud. This is really great if you're going to be using Dragon Naturally Speaking or some sort of voice recognition software or you just want to practice by doing that. Great if you need to hear your answers. You have a review sheet that you can use from the highlights and you can create flashcards using Microsoft PowerPoint and the notes that you've extracted in Kurzweil 3000. Now let's try this in Kurzweil 3000. I'm going to start the Kurzweil program. Now to simplify things, I've already opened up a chapter. On the top here you can see there's about 22, 27 pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly scan to see what type of information is here. The building blocks of interpersonal communications. Self-concept. Okay. And again, just to speed things up, I'm only going to do this for the first few pages. So the next page, I have perception as a title. So again, self-concept, so probably perception about my self-concept. Then it looks at selection, organization, interpretation. Okay, so perception, maybe that's how I'm perceiving my world. Hmm, what's on the next page? I have some examples here. I'm going to go down a little bit further. One more page. I have some more examples and then we're talking about language. Okay, I'm going to go back to one. So now my surveying is done. So since the first title says the building blocks of communication, then what I'm going to do is right at the beginning, I'm going to put a question here that is what are the building blocks of interpersonal communication? So here's my footnote and in the bottom, what? What are the what are building the building blocks of blocks of interpersonal interpersonal what are the building blocks of interpersonal what are the building blocks of interpersonal so you'll notice communication that Kurzweil is automatically reading as I type I could change that but for now I'm gonna leave that so I'm gonna close my footnote then the next title is self-concept so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here and since I see that there's a word in bold, I'm thinking there might be a definition here. 
So what I'm going to do, and remember, if my question's wrong, I can always go back later and answer it. So footnote. Define. 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 Define self-concept. Okay. Define self-concept. And I'll close that. Okay. I see no more words, no more titles. I'm going to go to the next page. Okay. Again, for this, I'm only going to do a couple of pages. It's just to give you an idea. And perception. Since the word is bold, there might be a definition. I'm going to put that. Define. Define. Define perception. Define perception. And I'm going to close my... Define note. perception. Okay. Now, of course, I'd go through the whole chapter and do that. Right now, I have three questions. And what I would do is file, extract annotations. And I'm going to extract no highlights, just the annotations. And, you know, if I had all sorts of notes, I can pick whichever ones. I'm going to make sure, just in case there's sticky notes and that, I only want my footnotes. When I click OK, then what I should see on my screen is a footnote and the page. Now, this is great because if you can't remember, you know where the answer is, which page it is on. So I can print that, and then I'll have that beside me. Now, let's see what the next step is. To speed things up, I printed my questions. Now, the first question is, what are the building blocks of interpersonal communication? So I'm going to have this as self-paced. That way it'll stop on its own. And then here, I'm just going to leave that as sentence, because as soon as I find my answer, I want to be able to highlight it. Okay? So we did the survey, we did the questions, now I'm going to read. All communication involves the basic processes of self-concept development. All communication involves perception, the basic processes language, of self-concept development. Perception, listening, language, nonverbal communication. So that is the and answer listening. to my questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my yellow highlighter and I'm going to highlight the main title. Okay. And I don't need that number two, so I'm going to erase that part. Okay. And then in green, I'm going to highlight my answers. Self-concept development, perception, language, nonverbal communication, and listening. Okay. My next question, and of course I would read the rest of this paragraph, but again I'm just trying to illustrate the concept by doing it a little quicker. Now my next question is define self-concept. So again, I'm going to click at the beginning of this paragraph and read it. Think for a moment about who you are. Think for a moment about who you are. Your self-concept is your awareness and understanding of who you are as interpreted your self and influenced is by your, your awareness thoughts, and understanding actions, of who you abilities, are as interpreted values, and influenced goals, by your thoughts, and ideals, actions, and abilities, other people. values, goals, so again, my main and ideals, idea, self and by other people. And again, that's going to be yellow because that's what I chose for my main idea. And green is going to be the rest of that because that's the definition. Okay. So one more on the next page. Uh, define perception. Here I have the bold. Of course, remember that I would be reading everything. I'm just trying to speed it up. Your perception is the way in which you make sense of the world around you can create very Your strong feelings. Your perception is the way in which you make sense of the world speed. around you can okay. create very Yellow, strong feelings that develop with amazing speed. And in green, the definition. Okay. And that's the read and record. After I'm done that, what I want to do is I'm going to go to File, and this time I'm going to extract my highlights to column notes. My yellow highlight is going to go into column 1. My green highlight is going to column 2. I have no Mahara highlights, so I'm just going to take these check marks out and click OK. Now as I look through here, anything extra I don't want I can get rid of. I don't really need this third column at this point so I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to hide the third column. <clears throat> okay. And again, you know, I can cut and paste or move this to wherever I need it. And the other thing I could do is I can actually uh, select all of this and copy it and put it right into Microsoft Word. But for today, if I want to know the building blocks of interpersonal communication, I can cover the second column and then I can try to practice. Okay, there's several things in there. Uh, one is perception, there's self-awareness, or self-concept. Uh, what else is there? Show the second column. Language, nonverbal listening. Okay, let's cover that. And then again, I can repeat that. So this is an excellent way to start to study. And I want you to realize that I've only had to read this once. My study notes are developed, my uh, practice test is developed, and I'm also getting a great understanding of the material. 
A final thing I would add would be to put in here examples. Okay, so I'm just clicking and typing, example. and you can type your own example in here. And that's how you can use SQ4R example. to help you to read and to get ready to study.